Jane calls her home a safe haven, but her 12-acre regional sanctuary attracts a hefty council rates bill. After a period of severe depression, Jane, who's using a pseudonym to protect her identity, found herself owing $30,000 in unpaid rates and penalty interest to her council. It was a collection agency that came from the council. They were going to take the house if they, I didn't pay the full amount. She was able to chip away at her debt, but she says the council refused to provide meaningful hardship assistance. It felt like they didn't believe me. It felt like the money was more important for them. Mortgage Stress Victoria eventually brokered a deal for Jane's bank to take on her debt, but the group says more and more people are struggling to pay their rates and warns most councils aren't delivering hardship assistance to the few who need it most. By blanket refusing to consider a debt waiver request, they are in breach of the Local Government Act. It's a decision that is creating a systemic issue for people who are on the, the greatest margins of financial hardship. In 2021, the Ombudsman investigated Victorian Council's poor approach to hardship assistance, finding common practices that couldn't be justified. These included not informing ratepayers of all their options, refusing to consider waivers and deferrals, and charging penalty interest on debts. While the state government is moving to improve transparency for struggling ratepayers, Council Watch Victoria says little has changed in the two years since the Ombudsman report. What we've seen is toothless tinkering around the edges. We haven't seen clear direction from the state government. Councils just don't need to use their resources and their sheer size to humiliate, shame or bully people into action. Making hardship help easier to access. Harrison Tippett, ABC News.